that shit again. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but uh, Vexy sent himself forward, going to get on top of that bridge. Going to get a little bit of scouting information. You know, because it's true, like, it, what they say, they don't necessarily know it's BTR, but in some way they don't need to know yeah. it's BTR, realistically, and that's where the shots are coming through. Now that he's got the knock, oh. with the double knock, nobody, that's nobody, nobody <gasps> does it like Vexy with the three... In a row, DP play. I mean, Vexy's just like, wait, is this Beatron? <laughs> wait. <laughs> no, no, no. And they're just going to send wow. Swag on four. They're just going to swiftly confirm their three kills. And uh, there you have it. I mean, Vexy like, and that DP, like, you love to see that. That's true, insane. but let's be honest. That was a mistake from T1. You're peeking too much. You, you don't peek when... Will escape. Beautiful egress, but will they be able to do it unharried? That's the question. They have to go pretty far on these pushes. But so does everyone else who's waiting in the wings. They hop out, gets a kill, hops back in. You do lose a man. They do. You do. Not too happy about that one at all. But Mega, this is what we wanted to see from them. They take a really strong fight. They show us the true potential of this team. And now they're opting to leave a unique... They're not going to let them do it so easily. No, Stone has gone down. Online and Pons at his back. And Old Boy and Yasha head up at the front for Unique. They're going for the push. They have the bikes. They have the speed. They have the aggression. The nades are in. And Mega looking risky right now. Illuminate and Top, by the way. Both duking it out in a little shack. And it looks like Illuminate get the worst end of it. Top Esports, they're starting to reclaim it. But in goes Old Boy around the side. His teammate is going to be able to get the first knock. And online is right there. They get the spray. He gets the shot. But Old Boy not quite able to finish it. Gets knocked in response. And online holds it down. Yasha looking to try and get the peak. He's on a sliver of HP. And the rest of Unique are there to back it up. Kitsune comes into the fray. And he should be able to spot the angle here. But no! Oh. That's another! Online holds it down. No, it's just Yasha there. Yasha. Is he going to be able to push around the edge of the smoke? He hasn't spotted it. The line is still alive. He is still going. And Yasha's low. He goes 24 seven all day, every day. Mega alive once more. A huge fight from Mega. Need to take this 4v2 to just overwhelm Team Secret. Scout going to get punished by a grenade. Potentially shots coming through. Nice. Knockdown coming out from MX and another knockdown once again onto Mavi. This is kills personified. Nice engagement by Team Secret. Where is Gil? He had to join the party. Hey, there he is. Gil going to get one nice shut down at the very end from a nice pretty distant range into Watertown. But unfortunately, it was a little bit too late for yeah. him to join the party. Going for those rares would be absolutely suicide. So I would say, if you can... Just cruise on by and leave the scene. But he's going for it. You know what? He's going to try and shut down the entirety of Team Secret. That is a very ballsy move. Will it be worth it, though? We'll have to wait and see. As here it is. He's over to the mountainside. The smoke is able to give quite a little bit of coverage over to Team Secret. Gets one. Nice shut down through the smoke. Mad Toy's right behind it, but unfortunately, he's not going to be peeking too much. Here it is. Gets the information. Goes for the spray. Fight back. But still not quite able to get that second frag. And Ice Shot is going to try and seal the deal. Nice grenade being cooked up. Will oh, yes. that connect? Will that be yes. a Obi? Oh. Yes, it will. Confirms a kill on the MX. Confirms the job done. MX did actually get healed up. My apologies. Let's see what Gil can keep on doing. I gotta give him so much credit. I was expecting him to disengage, but at the end of the day, this is just a seeding day, right? Now's the time to push yourself and push your opponents. Well, it's actually a pretty hard position to go for. Oh my god, wait, that's full carpus! Cheap secret! What are you doing? Wait, I shot still got that. I have no idea that this just happened. Ow. They have to do it here at the global finals against the best of the best. The smoke is there to block the retreat. Three players alive for Entity, and the shift comes through. It's on to Illuminate Blank. Illuminate. So ecstatic about this one. They can hold around these corners so well. Look at the split that they've got going on. They hold all the angles. They hold all the options in their hands. To their name so far. Going down now would mean a pretty shaky game at best. But Entity starting to frag out. Four teams now remain. Entity looking to remove EGC. The other team with four members still alive other than Illuminate. It would make things certainly a lot easier. They drop down. Matt Toy definitely has heard this one, though. Oh, he's going to go out wide. Goes for the spray. Will be able to get the knock as well. Illuminate. Get the confirmation. As EGC try and play the ridgeline, but Entity are on the side as well to potentially play. Spoiler! Oh, my goodness me. Absolutely mad. Play is coming out from Illuminate. They're able to get one, get two, and Entity finish them off. 
Oh my goodness me, three teams standing, Illuminate still so in the fray, low. but Neo is going to do so much work for his squad entity. One of the last three play teams standing and Orange still out their representative. Fire's been healing for so long out in the blue. They gave him all the match before they all went down. And not only the match, they gave him all their hope to move upwards. But right now, it doesn't look like Entity or Illuminate are going down anytime soon, but it's been a massive feat to stay alive this long. But the next circle will certainly kill him. Won't be able to survive for too much longer, but they'll be absolutely chuffed to bits with that. Third place, seven kills, 17 points on board. A really nice turn up for them to try and ladder up in terms of the prize pool. Entity atop the cliff. They're getting spotted out. The next shift will close it pretty much entirely. Blank Jonathan. Oh, stays alive for now, but Neo not so lucky. Katak is low and illuminates. Orange! Oh, at the end of the he's with oh, the fires! He's able to get all the way to second. Beautiful stuff. Punching the air at the end of the 15th match. Look to the east. Illuminate. 7th place for Orange Rock Box Gaming. 10 kills blank. This is going very, very well for them. Ryzen currently on fire. Oh. RRQ are coming back into this one. The Rhinos pushing forward and BTR is about to feel the horn. RRQ. They push close. G9 with a micro Uzi. Can't quite get the knock there. Ryzen behind the rock. It's going to be up and standing. One more falls and he's holding them off. RRQ getting demolished as they step through. Ernie gets sprayed down as well. What? Ryzen anchors it for Bigatron. Oh, they look for another, but finally he stopped. The rest of Bigatron, however, run in. The cavalry arrives and RRQ sweeped away. Oh, damn. BTR there. The Rhino charges towards them, but Ryzen... They are currently inside the center of the circle. They've got six kills, four players alive. Illuminate the Murder do have nine kills and four players alive as well. So they're going to be contestants here in this game. That grenade goes all the way over to Orange Esports though, but it doesn't quite connect the damage required to finish off the remaining players from Orange Esports. Oh, look at this though, Mortal, the uh -oh. remaining player here for Seoul. It seems like a game of cat and mouse, and that grenade as well could do shrapnel damage. He's gonna throw out a grenade, but be caught off guard by it seems. Got off! Comes from the corner, loses the draw though immediately to Seoul. Mortal trying to finish off the kill as well, gets some more kill points for his team in his squad, playing ring around the Rosies, around the rock, but he's caught off guard, and that's gonna be it. Mantoy takes him down, Solar out and forth, immediately now we're down to three. Down to the three indeed, the Southeast Asia teams are back. BTR, Illuminate the Murder and Orange Esports, they are going to be going head to head here. But the circle is going to be favoring the guys in the, the not Bigotron. of this world here because they are from you, I don't know, from Mars maybe, but still, at the same time, Illuminate has the high ground and they are gonna be taking this fight to BTR now. The zone is coming in, it's doing so much damage here as we are into phase seven. Orange Esports though coming towards the top of the hill, they're trying to fight off Illuminate the murder here, but actually, ironically, they're the ones being murdered as fire goes down. McBoy as well, Microboy doing all the damage, all the plays, and look how stacked up Illuminate are. They may go down immediately here as Ryzen gets involved. It's now going to be Orange Esports up against the top dog, Megatron, trying to make it more. Ryzen towards the top, and that's going to be it here. Yet another chicken dinner, $5,000 added again. Oh, it's just so easy for them. 16 years old, six so. Crashing up here onto Top Esports, the previous spring split winners. Team Peso looking to defrog nice. them here, and here comes Ayala. Beautiful stuff, Marco in first, Ayala in second. They're staging this crash and Mystic backs it up. Beautiful timing, 14 Queso so far. Only one player for Top Esports is left upstairs. That smoke not meant to go there, I'm afraid, Marco. I think they might just have to go for the push. Now, pushing up these stairs can be pretty dangerous, can't it, Blank? Yes, it can. All depends on how much they can get done, but their crash is strong. Top Esports looping around the side, desperately providing support for Eagle. Oh, Huge nade from the window. The nade's out though, Mystic takes most of it, but stays up and running. Eagle being down upstairs means they can push up, get the confirm, get the point, but for no. what cost? It's gonna be Team e Top Esports trading it one back and forth. Beautiful nade coming in for Team Queso. They're now going for the reverse push onto the building. Three players up and alive for both of these squads. And Ayala, Ayala getting res up on the top floor, but the need in through the window. Years takes down Axel, and Mystic falls as well. Team Queso, they're getting melted. A terrible miscommunication there. As Team Queso went to finish, Eagle upstairs. Nade's but out. Shields. Nade actually takes down his teammates. Oh dear. I think that was a smoke, so it's just going to give them some time. Do they know that he's in there? Marco goes for the fight, goes for the spray. He's going to be able to keep it up for now, but he goes down. His teammate outside Ayala trying to heal up, trying to stay alive. 
Two players for Top Esports. First KK did go off, turns the corner of the US, gets the first knock. Ayala now going for a second, oh, and he manages to make it happen! Queso, what was that? A terrible start to that fight with Axios Nade going off onto his own teammate. He finished Eagle in the process. Yo, düzel, evet, sistemişler. Tamam, şimdi mantıklı oldu. Lutz'a doğru gideceğiz. Ama derken, işte göstermemek lazım. Derken dahil olduğu Raum'u indiriyor, hemen bitiriyor. Sol kaya doğru gelen bomba. Yani Lutz'un sonunu getirecek. Starlight çıktı, taramaya başladı orayı. Şöyle bir sağı denedi, solu denedi. Rakiplerini gören sol kay rastgele atacak o mermileri ama pek de başarılı olma ihtimali yok gibiydi. Yine de beni haksız çıkarttı. Starlight aldı, azı aldı. Tek başına takımını hayatta tutuyor sol kay şu anda. Lovazin'den destek gelebilir mi diye bakıyorum. Diğer evlerde kalmış Lovazin. iki oyuncu indirdiğini biliyor. Acaba 3 mü 4 mü? Bunun bilgisine sahipler mi? Geldi Lovazin. Şifa'nın üzerine doğru da baskı var. İkiye bir şekilde oynayacaklar Şifa'na burada. Girişe dikkat etmeleri lazım. Şimdi Şifa'nın yerini öğrendiler. Tekrar girecekler buraya ve 7, kill 7 skor. Futbolist Sanuk. Valdis continue on and we're down to the last two teams. And the center was to the advantage of Valdis and now they're going for it. Pushing with the MG49 like that. Damn, nice spray. It's going to be stopping Zach. Oh, he cannot be. Gets it done. And now we turn into a 1v1. Who will be taking it? Will it be Zuxi or Godard or Valdis? Or Bigatron. The car's going to explode. It does pop the wheel right there, making it a little bit hard to hit bullets underneath. And he will explode it to just create a nice mini compound for himself. This is I coming down to it. The shots between Zuxi and Goddard. Shooting through each other. Using the wall. Use the vehicle. Bullet by bullet. The spray's coming through. It's a 1v1. Who's going to win out? Zuxi is getting the better of Goddard right now. But the heel comes through. Zuxi has nowhere to go. He's biding his time. Waiting for the angles to come through. As this 1v1 is just raging on for so long. A grenade could be shoot on Goddard. Will it connect? I'm not sure it does indeed, and they have it! It thought it was gonna be Valdez, but oh no, no, no, it was me! Bigotron!